improved for you since last year? Well, he's just getting an opportunity, and he's, uh, you know, he's figured out if he gets in the right spot, he's going to get drop-offs, and he's big and strong enough to finish. Uh, good, the good news is he's catching the ball. So uh, he had some, he's had some couple really good games. Uh, he's taken advantage of an opportunity, which was, you know, been presented by ineligibility, and uh, so we've used him. And his minutes will probably this, I don't have any formula. It's, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of depth, and uh, we're, I think it probably bit us in the behind on Saturday, given the minutes we had to play on Thursday, and then uh, turn it around, tough trip, get over for an afternoon game on Saturday. I thought we were tired, and so, so but at the same time, we've got to win games. What are you going to do with you this, you have a few days this week? Uh, anything Taking tomorrow off, uh, just the way it works with the mandatory day off per week, the way our weeks are scheduled. Uh, Sunday was last week's day off, and because we play Sunday, it would necessitate us taking Monday off next week to get a day off. So we're going to take it Thursday. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it is. There's no question. They have the same thing over, so it's not an advantage one way or the other, other than maybe catch a breath. See if you can't catch up and do some of the things shore up some of the areas you're not as happy with as you might be. Can you talk about Alan's progress from freshman to sophomore year? What are the things that you're seeing that he's doing better? It's just maturing. I mean, kids get better. They get stronger. They get more confident. Uh, a lot of kids come out of high school programs where uh, they don't have to do maybe as much. Uh, their requirements are different. And uh, he's, he's gotten stronger, more confident, understands his role. Uh, and continues to get more aggressive. Is that the, the part of his game that still has to get more consistent? Well, he's got to add some skill sets to the things. He's, you know, getting to the basket and finishing would help set up his shot. He's a really, really good shooter, and he, he adds the ability to get to the rim more often, and uh, that would help him. Thank you. So you're uh, currently your active leader in rebounding. What is that? Is that something you? Well, he's getting the ball from away from the basket, which is what he has to do because he's generally guarding a guy away from the basket. Uh, our bigs are typically locked into uh, a big underneath, and it's harder for them, you know, to rebound the ball. I mean, David has had some really big guys, and he's had a hard time cleanly rebounding the ball. And Harper's, you know, a little undersized, so uh, Allen's been able to get to the ball away from the basket. He needs to do that, or he's been our leading rebounder on a lot of occasions because he can do the same thing. Mike, given everything Harper has gone through, uh, is he giving you everything you'd hoped for this year? I know going in, you wanted to make sure you picked your moments to rest. Him. Well, how'd you know what I hoped for? I hoped he'd be all pro. <laughs> well, is he? Is he giving you? He's what busting he his butt. He's yeah. giving everything he has. You know, the knee hurts at times, and, uh, you know, I think psychologically, like all kids that have uh, an owie, he, your body tends to try to keep from having it hurt. So he'll avoid certain things that he knows is going to cause it to hurt a little bit, and so he tries to avoid that, which affects his game. Given your personnel change, will he go back to sort of to do what he did last year I'm not sure what that was. Well, I mean, does he move away from the basket a little bit more? Well, yeah, we're trying to keep uh, we're trying to keep evolving to try to put people in a position to be successful. Uh, locking him in at the low post is not necessarily probably his strength. He does some things well there, but over the course of a of a game, he needs to be away. So we've done a little bit more of that, but we don't want to go to that exclusively because we still need to have some kind of low post presence, and he can score down there. If you've done this game enough times, it's just another another conference game now. There's nothing special about you know, playing those guys. Uh, well, I've, I've never made it. So I mean, I, even way back, you know, across the bay, it felt like it was more manageable if you just allowed it to be a game rather than try to make more out of it because then it hurts more if you lose and uh, you know we, we all the guys whether it was I, even Bozeman or whoever it was you know Lou we, 
you tried not to get too uh, too over the top with the whole thing. This is not like football. This doesn't have the same attention. It doesn't have the same uh, the same uh, significance. You know, it's not the big game where the whole we got luncheon six days a week. It's just not. It's two games. It's in the conference right now. We're both at the top. So it makes it significant. I think Stanford's really good, and I think it's going to be a really tough game. So uh, we've got to hold our home court. That makes it significant in and of itself. Were they surprised you about mm -mm. They're talented. I mean, they're talented. You know, they got they got good players. Uh, so, and they got a lot of them. That's the thing. They can run a lot of people at you. We got a freshman in Randall who's averaging over 12 points a game. And he's, you know, had a pretty good season so far. Any thoughts on him? Mm -mm. He's a good player. I, mean, I don't, I, I don't isolate my thoughts on people. He's a nice addition to them. They also have a starter, three-year starter and man. You know, that's been a pretty good player, and I've seen them use Eustace at the guard, and I've seen them use Brown at the guard, along with Bright. So, you know, again, they've got a lot of people. Uh, Randall's had some big games for him. He's had a couple games where probably won games for him late. It's a nice addition. You mentioned your depth, and they have they have a lot of it. As you just said, running in. Does that affect how you, you know, use timeouts and things like that? 30 second timeouts don't do you a whole lot of good. Certainly. You've got timeouts for every four minutes for however long it's on TV. They could be 10 or 12 minutes. But uh, so you, you play around those a little bit. Uh, maybe you use a 30 second time, timeout to break momentum. But by the time they run over to the bench and run back out, it's like I don't know what that does just in terms of rest, okay. uh, to be honest with you. It's really hard to even get anything done in terms of let's run this in 30 seconds. I mean, it's like I mean, you're no sooner got guys looking at you than officials coming over and saying first horn. Yeah. It, it really is kind of a momentum thing. Uh, I, I don't know where timeouts. I like to keep them for late anyway where there could be more valuable in terms of uh, using one on either side of a TV timeout or actually trying to strategize a little bit. So I don't know that timeouts are going to be a factor. Uh, it, I think probably th throughout the course of the remaining season, I'm going to have to get more comfortable with some other players and try to get them in in, special, in situations where I don't feel like, uh, you know, but if, if we can't, if we can't, if they're going to hurt or can't maintain a certain level, then I can't do it. So, but uh, again, I thought Saturday, I thought given the minutes and the travel and everything else, I thought we were a little bit fatigued. Mike, uh, Emerson Murray was playing some and then played very little on this trip. So one of those guys that yeah, it's, you know, I mean, it's the things that happen sometimes just you, you concern yourself with it uh, because some of the things that he needs to do, he forgets. And then, uh, you know, that's where the confidence thing has to come in um, as far as, as what, who I have in there with him. And you know, certainly he's capable, but there's got to be the right group of personnel in there. You said the confidence thing you mean. His it's confidence. just my confidence. I mean, it's my confidence what he's what anybody's going to do uh -huh. in a given situation. Main thing is people have to defend. We can't become not good defensively. We have to have the proper rotations. We have to be good on the ball. We can't get beat a point of attack. If we can't do that, then we're we're going to struggle. How has uh, Thurman improved from last season to this? Has he worked on anything specifically, or do you? No, I mean, it's just getting more comfortable. I think confidence with him is a big thing. I think the summer for him was big. He had a good summer. Uh, Richard was hurt. Harper, we, you know, didn't play all that much. Uh, you know, David was a freshman. You know, we, we, he, so he played a lot of minutes, and I think he got some confidence in Europe with, uh, he kind of was the man inside. You know, the European teams didn't have a lot of big, strong guys, but he was scoring a lot of buckets, and I think he got comfortable with that. How did you come here in the first place? Were transferring from the uh, We'd gotten a letter. Uh, John actually had gotten a letter, you know, kind of walked in, said we'd use a 6 9 walk on. Uh, so we did a little bit of investigation, not a whole lot. He's got some tuition, it breaks because of his parents and uh, military. So uh, we just said, yeah, why, well, you know, we were not 
loaded with bigs, and so in he came. Uh, you know, I don't know that he's, I mean, I think he's just confident. I mean, he's, he's a good shooter and, uh, I mean, guys are going to improve from high school to college and college the first year or so, because once they come, become used to the, the difference in the level of play and the game and all those kinds of things, I mean, they're going to make, they're going to progress. He's a very confident player. He's made a lot of shots. Uh, in big situations, he's a good handle. Uh, he's he's a, been a nice, nice player for them. That freshman sophomore year, that's still the year you expect to see big jumps. In that play? Depends on where where. It really depends on where he is coming in. I mean, what you know, what his high school situation is. How good was his team? How well has he been coached? What has he been asked to do in high school compared to what he's going to be asked to do? At this level, uh, you know, some kids play what they think they play point guard, but they don't really play point guard. Not, not like I see a point guard. He can dribble the ball down, pass it to somebody, and then everybody plays. Well, John could do that. You know, well, not, it's not so fast. But I mean, it's it, that's not a point guard. Point guard has to set things up and you know break people down, and so then all of a sudden you're asking a kid to do different things, and he responds to it. Then you then your guy figures it out. Some kids don't. Solomon back next season? Yes. Is he around? Is he allowed to be around with the team? He's everywhere we are, except Training for on the road. Meals, practice. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so not in prison, he's just ineligible. Won't, <laughs> <laughs> won't travel. Well, I, the academic people are obviously more equipped. We've, we've got them on high alert, so they're, uh, you know, we've got Richard coming into the office at different times to, to do, uh, so we're sure that he's doing what he needs to be doing. Uh, at the end of the day, it's still on him. You can't, you, you can only, uh, you know, make sure he's going where he's supposed to go, doing what he's supposed to do, uh, those kinds of things. Uh, ultimately, he has to do the work. So, uh, you know, the motivation has to come from within himself, and uh, he knows that. How do you evaluate Tom's play throughout the year so far? Kind of sort of the year? Yeah. Are we on a yearly deal now? Well, do you want to go so game far. by game, or can we just go, you know, generally? Generally. Okay. <laughs> it's been pretty good. Uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, there's some things he needs to do that we're working on that, uh, you know, sometimes he thinks we're picking on him, but he's got a chance to be a really good player if he can just add to his game. He gets to the basket real well, uh, you know, so uh, it's been a pretty pleasant surprise. Seems like he's really fit in well with, with this group. I mean, regardless of what you're trying to get him to do, it seems like he's been a good. Like a yeah, well, he and Richard, he and Richard, and, and uh, Alan are really good friends, you know, and so they've known each other for a long time, and uh, so that part of it's not, you know, he's able to do some things. I mean, uh, that maybe Brandon can't do. Brandon does has some things that he could do uh, as well, and uh, but. Uh, his ability to get the basket. He's had some really good games where he's kind of lights come on and he's assisted and gotten the basket and defended and you know. And if we can get him to there on a consistent basis, that would really, really help. Your, your best penetrator except for Jorge. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Richard needs summer school. Will he stay around during the summer? Yeah, everybody will. But everybody will. He has. To, yeah, he's got to get. He's got to get 24 hours passed. Uh, for the year, that's the rule. So 